And I quote, whenever a veteran files a claim, our goal is to work with them every step of the way to get to yes. That is from the VA's Undersecretary for Benefits. And I know some of you might disagree with that statement. To be honest with you, I think I disagree with that statement too. But something I wanted to bring up is all of the good the VA has done recently that has seriously helped veterans. I think we need to give credit where credit is due. And this year has been really good for veterans. First, starting with processing 1 million claims for this fiscal year is a pretty big deal. So from October 1 of 23 to about mid-March, the VA has adjudicated over 1 million claims. And I think that's something that we can all be proud of. Now, am I saying that the VA is perfect? No, I am not. But this will be a glass half full type perspective. Now, before anyone says that the VA is setting records by denying those claims, here are some stats for you that is straight from the VA. So, the VA is reporting that 60.4% of all of those claims, so 1 million claims, that is 604,000 claims, um, of those 1,604,000 were approved. That's a pretty big deal, okay? So more than half. Now, of those 604,000 claims that were approved, that 60.4% includes an approval rate of 75.1% of PACT Act related claims. So yes, the VA actually is granting service connection, which is great. That's good news. We know what we need for service connection, and I've stated the big three criteria over and over again, which is required, okay? And I've stated that more times than I can count. The in-service event, so evidence from service, the current diagnosis, the diagnosis must be chronic, and the nexus, which is either medical in nature or presumptive in nature. Knowing this, we can submit an evidence-based claim and be awarded service connection. That's the goal, okay? To be properly rated by the VA and get service connected. Now, not only has the VA set records when it comes to processing VA disability claims, I want to take a step back and look at all the good the VA has done recently for veterans. I understand it's really, really, really easy to bash and badmouth the VA, and trust me, sometimes they do de deserve it and it is warranted, but at the same time, let's look at the good they do, okay? One thing I wanna bring up about anyone being denied, you only see the loudest mouth on social media, right? You only hear the loudest voice in the room. Those that have been denied speak up way more than those that have been approved. So keep that in mind as you're getting advice through social media and just remember submit that evidence-based claim with the big three in mind. Now, PACT Act, obviously, and we've talked enough about that one, that's been really good for veterans. Recently, there was an expansion to healthcare for millions of veterans that went into effect March 5th of 2024. This bill was passed and signed, um, which gave VA healthcare access to millions, literally millions of veterans, like an untold number of veterans now have access to VA healthcare without having a VA disability rating. That's pretty huge, okay? If you fall into that category, that is huge for you and congrats. The GERD IBS changes going um, into effect, which is May 19th of this year, in my opinion, are pretty good for most veterans. The higher rating criteria for GERD is already rare as is. Um, I don't think that changed much, but the lower criteria and the separation of GERD and IBS um, seems favorable, especially for those veterans that have both GERD and IBS. Those can now be separated, okay? The proposed changes to mental health look absolutely solid with more objective criteria to rate a veteran based on five domains and each level within each domain. I think we will see a ton more of 50, 70, and really more 100% ratings for mental health alone, assuming the proposed changes um, 
stay as they are when that goes into effect. And yes, it will be in effect. It's not an if, it's a when. The VA is also breaking records, not just for processing veteran claims, which remember is over 1 million, but processing benefits for female veterans, which is, which is an extreme, a very, very extreme minority compared to the male counterpart, okay, which is me. To put this into perspective for you, there are about 6.5 million veterans rated for VA disability compensation, and of that 6.5 million, only 706,000 of those are female veterans. Now, that 706,000 group number grew by about 26%, showing that the VA is processing female veteran disabilities and other benefit claims, which is absolutely solid, and that's a win in my book personally. So look, is the VA perfect? That answer is no, okay? But I will tell you this, there isn't a single entity or anyone else out there that is going to give you a compensation check every single month. There's only one process. You can either get with that process, which is following the big three, right? The in-service event, the current diagnosis, and the nexus, or you submit a baloney VA claim and get denied and then complain about it. So in reality, what that looks like is you can either swim with the current and enjoy your float down the river, or you can be stubborn and try to swim up the current, which will only make you tired, weary, and at the end of the day, you will never make it up the stream and you will drown, okay? Get with the process, understand the process, understand what it is that you're claiming, understand your evidence, bring that to an accredited rep, preferably a VSO, and say, hey VSO, here's my evidence, here's what I wanna claim, let's submit these claims, that's it. It's, it's not hard, do not overcomplicate the process. There is a process, let's follow the process and submit that evidence-based claim. If you made it to the end of this video, here's the article from the VA that talks about them processing a, a ton of claims this fiscal year. For those of you that want to support the channel, the absolute best way is to always watch the videos all the way through and hit like so for those of you who made it to the end comment something really funny really random let me know you stayed till the end you can do chicken butt chicken fingers chicken feet it don't matter what you want to say just something off the wall bozo weird and other than that that's all i got thank you for your support and uh until next time